Hi everyone, it's me again. Yeah, here we go again. Okay, <clears throat> this video is going to be short and sweet. Um, I wanted to come on here and let everybody know that I did some collecting of nature the last few days after we had this really bad storm. So a lot of branches and pine cones and twigs and everything else came down. So if anybody's interested in some Washington State nature items, message me. Um, I'd be more than willing to share. I mean, there's so much out there. And I, like I said, I live in an apartment complex, and they haven't came around yet to clean up the yard. I mean, there's maple leaves on the thousands out here. Um, I have, there's a, I think it's called a lime. I'm not, I, actually, I don't know what, it, actually what it's called, but the leaves look like maple leaves, but they're not. They're more into, they're more star. They're more of a star shape. And <clears throat> they have these burly little, uh, they're pretty pokey little um, things that come off. I don't know if they're nuts or what they are. I think they're called witch's balls. I'm not positive. Don't quote me on that. But if they are, they're something I wouldn't mind um, adding to uh, some of these packages at once. And I can go out and grab some. I mean, there's so many out there. It's so crazy. And people around here are just don't, they don't care about nature. I don't understand it. I mean, there's so much out here. But it's so if anybody's interested on in getting some Washington State nature items that they can use for their crafting or to use for their different potions or um, spells or whatever they want to use it for, let me know because I have them. And also, um, I have a question. Maybe somebody can answer this for me. Now, I have right outside my kitchen window. Uh, I don't even know what kind of tree it's called. I, I, I feel a little stupid living in Washington State all my life, and I don't know what this tree is called. But it is the one with the um, nettles. Uh, not the nettles, but the pine needles. I, no, they're not the same pine needles, I don't think. They're the long, pretty long ones. They're, you know, three or four inches long. I'm going blank right now. But anyway, I have a question. Do you... It, when we work them in our magic, now, are we looking for the dry brown ones or are we looking for the green ones that we dry ourselves or we store ourselves? I really need to know. Are both of them worth it or worth using? Because I can get both. Um, the only thing is I have a problem with is I just don't know, you know which ones are good and which ones are bad. Or, you know, which ones I can use and which ones I don't use. I used to use them both all the time, so I don't know. I use them. I used to use them to put on my my flower gardens during the winter time to put a nice bedding over the top of my um, soil, so the soil would stay nourished. And you know they break up over time, and they become uh, nourishment for my soil. So I always had really good flowers. So if anybody has any ideas on that, please help me with that question. I really appreciate it. And if there's anything else here in Washington State that you can't get where you're at, let me know, and I'll see what I can do. Because where I live at, there's trees upon trees upon trees. I, I live in an apartment complex that's five and a half acres big. Okay, it is huge, and there is trees everywhere, and in blackberry bushes. That's what I have to go out and do tomorrow is go collect some blackberry bushes before they start drying out and stuff and getting nasty. Um, but yeah, if there's anything that you guys are interested in, just let me know. And I can help you out with that if you're interested, if you want to. And please answer my question on the nettles. I think they're nettles or pine needles. They're long ones. I know what a pine tree is. And I know... I don't know. I, they have pine cones on them too, but I'm not sure exactly what it is. It, it could be a different pine tree. I, I feel, like I said, I feel really stupid because I can't remember. And I'm not one. I've never been keen on trees. I mean, I can tell an oak tree from a pine tree, but I can't tell you what pine tree is from another pine tree or different breeds of pine trees or what they are. 
and I love my maple trees. I love Japanese maples. I wish I had a Japanese maple, but I don't. Um, and the other thing is, oh, um, when you, I have a couple rose bush, a couple spots out by my back door that there's a rose bush, and they don't do any trimming out here, which is stupid. So I was wondering, is, does anybody know when you trim a rose bush back? Can you um, use those stems in your in your magical workings, or just the thorns? Um, because if it's just the thorns, then I'll dry them out and use the thorns. Or do I take the thorns off while they're green? I have no idea. Can somebody ask, answer this for me? I think I got about another week before I need to um, forget about it. Otherwise, they're not going to grow. Uh, but that's what I like to do. I like to trim that rose bush down and see if they even notice. They didn't care so before when we trimmed it. So, but yeah, if you uh, please let me know about that. Sorry, this video was supposed to be really short and it's not. Um, love and light to everybody. Bless be. This will be my last video for today. I'm sorry. I have my grandbaby. I gotta go take care of. She has CDLS. If anybody doesn't know what that is, it's Cornelia Delane syndrome. It's a type of dwarfism, and it also causes other uh, birth maladies. And if anybody's ever noticed the pictures that I put on of her on my Facebook page, you know, she doesn't have full arms. She only has one digit on each hand. Her legs are fine. Um, she just started sitting up. She doesn't walk yet. She's almost 20. She'll be, oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow she'll be 26 months old. We let two years and two months old. Wow, time flies. And she's only, I think she's about 22 pounds. So she's not very big. She grows real slow, which I love because so everybody else has grandbabies and they grow up so quickly. And before they know it, they're hitting high, they're hitting grade school. Zeppelin's got a long ways to go before she hits grade school. If she doesn't end up going to some other specialty school. Uh, because of her disabilities um, and her syndrome. Uh, she does have physical therapy every week on Thursday to help her with different things. We're hoping by the time she's three that she'll be walking. It's kind of grim because she can stand up. She can stand up leaning against something right now, but she can't stand up on her own. She just recently, about three and a half months ago, learned how to sit on her own. She still has the tendency to throw herself back because of the syndrome. So, um, and she's fed through a feeding tube, so it's kind of makes it hard for her because she can't be up moving around constantly like everybody else would be at her age because of the feeding tube. She has to be restricted to what she's doing. Like right now, she's eating, and here pretty soon, probably the next 15 20 minutes, I have to take her out and, you know, burp her and get her moving around and stuff so she. <clears throat> not sitting in there the whole time. But hey everybody, I hope you have a wonderful evening and I hope you enjoy my videos. And please don't forget to enter yourself in my giveaway. I'm hoping that I'll get more uh, subscribers um, since I'm starting to do more videos. If anybody has any ideas for videos that they would like me to do, I have no problem doing them. I have all the time in the world to do videos. So, um, if anybody's interested in certain things, I can do what I can. If I don't have the stuff to do the video with now, I can get the resources when I can, and I'll do the video. So, if anybody has any ideas, please let me know. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and let's be.